TB has been with us for uh, over 100 years. Within three years, we brought the infection of COVID-19 to the lowest level. That not only are we meeting, missing drugs for, uh, for uh, drug sensitive TB, but you saw me also sharing that we don't even have the printing material for referring the patient. And, and, and now we don't have the gene expert uh, uh, machines. We are going back to microscopy again. And therefore, even that money for, uh, that we normally get from global fund for missing cases as a catalytic fund is going to go to waste if we can't diagnose people. We are going to miss a lot of people. So it's very sad. So instead of bringing the TB down, we are going to make the TB escalate beyond the level that we thought. And I'm wondering what are we going to say at the United Nations high level meeting? Would mm -hmm. you refer a patient to the hospital, even if they are diagnosed with microscopy, they won't get the drug. They won't be initiated for, uh, on treatment. The drugs that, the little drug that is being procured are being borrowed from neighboring countries. And for the first time in many years, we are having a higher rate of deaths from TB than, than any other year. The reason is that people come for treatment when it's late. So even when they get the right medicine, uh, they, the cure rate becomes lower. But now with no medicine, no diagnosis, no even uh, uh, papers for writing the, uh, the prescription. In fact, today I saw in one of our notice board at the laboratory it's written, please do not refer any other patient for gene expert we don't, because we don't have cartridges. Revert to, uh, to a microscopy. And, and we all know we came away from the microscopy because we were missing a number of people and not only missing a number of people, there was the issue that you start people on a drug sensitive TB while they could have contacted uh, drug resistant TB. Health is a right within our constitution and any other constitution. When the government is not diagnosing you with the right tool, then again, your rights is being violated. And anybody who is infected in t with the TB out there through another party should be able to sue the government for neglecting these people who have TB so that they can infect the community. And lastly, for the United Nations High Level Meeting, we have been advised that every country comes with something on the table. What does each country, what will my president go with to on the table? in the United Nations. So, or will he go there to tick the boxes if we don't have the basic tools for ending TB? Hello, Hello friends, welcome. Today, we are at a very important point in the journey towards ending tuberculosis. Uh, 90 months ago in 2015, governments, uh, all governments, including of Kenya, India, um, of they had promised to end to TB by 2030. India then revised its target to end it by 2025. Kenya is slated and all other governments have slated to end TB by 2020, 2030. This is 90 months have passed by since the promise was made. 90 months are left to 2030. So we are at a halfway point to eliminate tuberculosis. We have amongst us Peter Nigola Oviti, a very dear friend of ours. We respect him a lot for his lifetime contribution towards the fight against TB. So welcome, Peter. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Those who may uh, just remind that Peter is an advocate for TB patients in Kenya, uh, you know, and uh, he has a very long history in the fight against TB. And Peter now works as uh, executive director of VOTE. Uh, w O T E you vote youth development projects a youth and youth TB HIV advocacy organization based in Makuni County of Kenya he was recently appointed as representative of TB communities on the access to COVID nineteen tools accelerator Act A facilitation council so uh, so Peter we have been hearing very concerning uh, uh, things about uh, Kenya like uh, I read on your post that. 
uh, there were drug stockouts for uh, uh, for drug sensitive TB. There were the shortage of cartridges, for instance, and other other things. If we are to end TB, we need to ensure supply chain mechanism has to be in place. There are th this is no rocket science. Every uh, uh, every country has to ensure that uh, TB prevention, TB diagnostics, TB treatment, whether it is sensitive or drug resistant tuberculosis, all care and support nutrition etc everything mm -hmm. has to reach people everywhere globally we cannot uh, you know there is no zero tolerance there should be zero tolerance for any stock out zero tolerance this is such a missed opportunity please let us know what is happening uh, what is the situation thank you bobby i'm really saddened by the situation in kenya uh, considering that I myself, as you have mentioned, I'm in the board of the Stop TB Partnership. I'm also in the medical patent pool uh, uh, as a community advisory panel. And right here in my country, I can't change anything. Things are getting from worse to worse. Uh, we were hoping that in the sustainable development goals, which is ending by 2030. If we are in such a situation, what is going to happen when there will be no funding in 2030 uh, and, and the country has no uh, uh, domestic resources to fight TB, HIV, and malaria, and specifically TB? It is even worse that not only are we meeting missing drugs for for a drug sensitive TB, but you saw me also sharing that we don't even have the printing material for referring the patients. And, and, and now we don't have the gene expert uh, uh, machines. We are going back to microscopy again. And therefore, even that money for, uh, that we normally get from Global Fund for missing cases as a catalytic fund, it's going to go to waste if we can't diagnose people. We are going to miss a lot of people. So it's very sad. And the situation is made worse that we have one supplying agency according to the procurement procedure that CAMSA, the Kenya Medical Supplies Agency, is the sole supplier for medicine for the country. We really don't know what is happening because the government is not truthful about this. But Bobby, the sad part is that all those people who are not getting med being initiated into uh, medication are going to, uh, to be transmitting TB to the children outside there and to the adults and to the general population. So instead of bringing the TB down, we are going to make the TB escalate beyond the level that we thought. And I'm wondering what are we going to say at the United Nations high level meeting if we think we are going to end TB and yet we have dropped everything. And remember, we also had the effect of COVID. Uh, though Kenya was not very much affected, but quite a number of uh, er, uh, countries within Kenya, uh, I mean, within the boundaries of Kenya were affected. And Kenya is the main trans highway supplying Tanzania, I uh, mean, Uganda and Rwanda and Burundi. So you can immediate trans border transmission is also going to increase. Right, right. Totally, totally agree, Peter. Totally echo. Uh, this is a very serious concern. There is a method to, to know how many, so what supply is required and to ensure that that supply reaches in a timely manner. What you have said is so true. If we, if we, are, if we do not, ensure people are diagnosed as soon as possible and put on treatment, we will fail to prevent transmission of tuberculosis. We will fail to break the chain of transmission of infective TB. Peter, can you just tell us a little bit more about a catalytic fund? Because many few, many of us may not be that familiar. And the friends uh, also about the UN high level meetings. Many people I have read uh, say that COVID-19 now is the biggest infectious killer disease. This is wrong. This is true in worldwide if you see the total figure. But in countries like Kenya, in countries like India, COVID-19 has not killed that, that many people, which TB kills every single year. 
So for example, in India, official government record is that five lakh, uh, five, half a million deaths happened due to COVID. But half a million people die of TB every year in India. In countries like Kenya and India, tuberculosis continues to be the biggest, deadliest infectious disease. It needs a very highest top level priority. So over to you, Peter. Thank you once again, Bobby. Uh, on the global fund, we have the normal funding for buying medicine, but the global fund also gives some extra money for specific, uh, for specific work uh, programs. And one of those programs is finding misses, missing cases. So communities and healthcare personnel uh, 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 take a, a step further to find people with the TB. So at the facilities when people come for call, common calls or any, or, or any chest pain, they are told to have a higher suspicion and start interrogating these people uh, if they have ever been near somebody with TB or how long have they, so that they can be tested for TB before it's transmitted. So that, high, that is uh, uh, in, intensive case finding within the facility. Now at community level, we have also community people who are looking for people who are coughing. They, 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 they train people in meetings and ask if you have coughed for any duration before it was for two weeks consecutive. But now because we want to find people faster, all those people who we normally miss in the system, we want to find out anybody who has been coughing persistently for even a day, we, 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 we suspect them to have TB and therefore we want to check if they have TB so that we don't spread the TB. And then the funds are located within the global fund for helping to find people who have coughed for any duration so that they don't continue spreading uh, TB. Uh, on the issue of the uh, uh, high level meeting, we, we recently had a parliamentary caucus for the Africa region. And the, the parliamentary caucus are people who are in the health committee in parliament who can put the issue of TB on a higher pedestal. TB has been with us for uh, over 100 years. Within three years, we brought the infection of COVID-19 to the lowest level. In fact, as you are saying, Kenya does, did not recognize uh, COVID-19 as a very infectious disease because many people, quite a number of people also did not go for vaccination. Though we did cover quite a, over 40%, but quite a number of people did not go for vaccination because they didn't. There were all those rumors. So TB is the one that are killing most mm -hmm. of our people. And for the first time in many years, we are having a higher rate of deaths from TB that, than any other year. The reason is that people come for treatment when it's late. So even when they get that right medicine, uh, they, the cure rate becomes lower. But now with no medicine, no diagnosis, no even uh, papers for writing the, uh, the prescription. In fact, today I saw in one of our notice board at the laboratories written, please do not refer any other patient for gene expert we don't, because we don't have cartridges. Revert to, uh, to uh, microscopy. And, and we all know we came away from the microscopy because we were missing a number of people and not only missing a number of people, there was the issue that you start people on a drug sensitive TB while they could have contacted uh, drug resistant TB. So they go for months on treatment only to realize that the treatment is not working for them because they have a, 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 a drug sensitive TB. And therefore we, use the guideline provided by WHO that the gene expert is the first diagnostic uh, process. And now we don't have cartridges and we are going back to many years where we came from. Lastly, I would like to say also that health is a right within our constitution and any other constitution. 
when the government is not diagnosing you with the right tool, then again, your rights is being violated. And anybody who is infected in t with the TB out there through another party should be able to sue the government for neglecting these people who have TB so that they can infect the community. And lastly, for the United Nations high level meeting, we have been advised that every country comes with something on the table. What does each country, what will my president go with to on the table in the United Nations? So, or will he go there to tick the boxes if we don't have the basic tools for ending TB? Absolutely, totally agree with you. Like we definitely cannot afford to go back from gene expert to uh, microscopy, for example, right? Like there is so much of plethora of scientific evidence to uh, in favor of using gene expert, not only to diagnose TB, but also to detect drug resistant to resistance early on uh, at the first step when a person with a uh, presumptive TB steps into a health facility. Very, very true. And of course, like the resources like catalytic fund, et cetera, they need to be maximized, maximally utilized. And th that is only possible when reference system is at place, when diagnostics is happening. Let us hope that that happens. Let us hope. Any final thoughts uh, uh, before we wrap up? Bobby, the, the big question that we are asking as communities working, as uh, communities working in TB, what is the next step for us? We are stuck. Because if you refer a patient to the hospital, even if they are diagnosed with microscopy, they won't get the drug. They won't be initiated for, uh, on treatment. The drugs that, the little drug that is being procured are being borrowed from neighboring countries. And patients are given the pack for only uh, a few days. That means that out-of-pocket expenses also is becoming higher because they are coming back to the hospital quite a number of times to collect only the minimal number of packages. When we start splitting a package for a patient to distribute widely, we know very well that also we, we keep on teaching this patient that if any packet it is, uh, it is not wholesome, then that quality is compromised. So we are stuck as a community the situation that we, we can do in Kenya. And we have been escalating th these things. And when we are borrowing from those countries, what happened to their patients? Because the countries order according to their requirements. What will happen to our neighbors again as we continue borrowing? Totally, totally agree, Peter. We have all the diagnostic tools in place. When you have referral systems in place, things like do not refer for gene expert because of cartridge, uh, stock out, this is not acceptable. The medicine is stock out, that is not acceptable. What you have said, health is a human right. Let us hope that your uh, the president of each or prime ministers or the heads of every country walks the talk on that line that health is a human right. And it is a health is a human right for each one of us, especially those who are marginalized. Their, uh, their, their life is no uh, means no less. So uh, let us hope that happens, Peter. Would you like to say anything else before we wrap up? Bobby, the last one I would say, you who is in the global platform, I know also in India is not in the best case, but India is our supplier for all generic drugs. Uh, we are appealing to you to amplify our voices and our need uh, to rescue us by amplifying this in forums that you have access to in your uh, newsletters and so that the world can hear that we don't have uh, uh, enough supplies and so that we can help and save life. And thank you very much for getting in contact with us. We value your, 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 your publications and we hope for the best that we'll be able to at least save life uh, when we get the right medicine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you so much. And thank you. So, and special thanks to the kind of energy and, you know, the resilience which you bring to the fight against tuberculosis. So, uh, so really looking forward to the, not only the next 90 months, let us hope that people like you, leaders like you, we, uh, governments are, uh, are able to end TB before 2030 because health is a human right. And it means a lot. So all power to you, Peter, and in all solidarity. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.